know earlier and mm -hmm. duo design running Greninja. I kind of wish I kind of wish we saw some Incineroar. That would be a really fun matchup. I can't but... believe we we have another Smash Ultimate matchup once again. <laughs> <laughs> How do you yeah. feel about these two? A rushdown versus a zoner, finally. Yeah, very very interesting setup. Uh, I really like Greninja just in general, but also I think this is going to be very fun to see how Greninja because Greninja has some really fast buttons that are going to keep Black Ace out pretty well. Mm -hmm. Oh. Launches him. Okay. Uh, see, I'm just strong. very, very patient, neutral, respecting, respecting Gino's buttons, but also just whiff punishing whenever possible. Mm -hmm. Oh, the down air into oh. the fair? Barely oh, killing that the not... one that did not kill though, but it almost it almost had a chance to. Oh, tries to go for the up strong, just doesn't space it quite enough. Probably tried to Dacus, but didn't quite get it. Surprising that Greninja is finding it very difficult to get a kill here at like 160. I mean, that is again, that is actually one of Greninja's bigger weaknesses is not being able to kill. Oh, that could be huge though. Mm, better enough. Duo just guess. just waiting around. Oh, finally, finally. That'll do it. <laughs> but yeah, Greninja, Greninja with kill power would be like top one. <laughs> oh, but the dunk. Okay. That was that was wild. Already up a stock. Uh, Black Ace just being brutal here. Okay, up air. One, two. Getting Very the gun. Patient. Just, just spacing, keeping Greninja out. Uh, not trying to get too fancy here. Neither wanting to be really committal at the moment. Yeah. Oh, gets in but doesn't get anything off of it. One. Okay. And two. Oh, the forward tilt. Oh, oh, forward air. 1-1 one, one now. Finally, finally, smart. But, I mean, Gino up 81%. That's kind of rough. Oh, that could do it. Yep. No drift at all. But at that point, I think it was really hard to DI, not knowing where to go. <laughs> yeah, again, this is this is very crazy, because Greninja did a lot when, uh, when they got in, but mm -hmm. then just wasn't enough really get enough of a lead got that yeah forward air there but again just one two and then the down strong yeah having to depend on like such high kill percentages especially with greninja it's not gonna be a good look at all surprisingly so even when gino is so light as well yeah but i mean we see some of those straight forward airs come out this, or any of the tipper up strong setups. Mm -hmm. I think it's just going to be a matter of duo, duo design figuring out how to get the openings for those big kill moves. Because, like, the, this is a very hard matchup for Greninja because you have to respect Geno so much. Mm -hmm. And you can barely take make any risk, or else you can just die from a fair into Geno World. Yeah, absolutely. But I don't. I don't even know if this is necessarily a Geno-centric matchup. More so that it's just G Greninja has to play very slow here. Mm -hmm. Both players are at 85. Oh, tries to parry it, but misses. Yeah, you can see there. Like just taking that risk, it just ends up like killing you so early. Yeah, the forward strong not killing, but trying to go off the top. Oh. Oh, tries to catch him, but just doesn't. Mm -hmm. I think that's adding up too in Duo Designs' his brain, where it's like, or mind, where if you're not getting the kill so early, but Gino can, it's gonna ruin you for this matchup. Yeah, we're definitely seeing uh, Black or er, Duo Design just be really, really patient, or not being patient rather, uh, when they should. 
because we're seeing like a lot of just really risky plays. But this is about even again. We're seeing some of the patented Greninja neutral here. Both players just standing up and parrying. Getting up 106, 116. Okay, fair. Setting up the grid. And oh, the that's gonna song. do it. Yeah, Rockwall was definitely a very good pick here. How our blast zones does even out the setup a little bit. Oh, mm -hmm. nice juggle, but not gonna be enough, especially with Gino trying to get in. Gino misses the forward air, has to retreat. Mm -hmm. uh, both players very patient here. All oh, the down strong Black, almost rolls now. into it. Having a strong dependency on that down strong is screwing them up here for their punishes. Yeah, that oh, fair. The forward air. All right, bringing it back to even, but not for long, I don't think. Mm -hmm. Oh, tries to punish that. Oh, yep. Learn from their mistakes. Do a design no longer trying to predict the up special, but rather just running and chasing it and seeing where it's going to end up. The thing about Geno up special is that the fireball is its hitbox. Yeah, just very clean confirms. That's what Greninja is all about. Mm -hmm. When you finally get into your opponent's mind and you can get your confirms, Greninja feels so good to play. Yeah, I know a lot of people, multiple people quit Workshop and then found met, found Greninja and were like, yeah, I'm, I'm playing Workshop again. <laughs> but I know... I don't I know I know that happened to Dakota, who is in this bracket, but I've also uh, been playing with a couple other people who same that they just started picking up Greninja. And we're like, all right, I'm playing this game again. It's a good character, especially yeah. with how dynamic Workshop can be and how explosive it can be. Absolutely. And now we're going into Endless Abyss. Endless Abyss. This is such a deadly stage for Greninja, because especially for, when you need those project uh, platforms to keep moving. Yeah, for both of those, for both of them, this is a a definitely a rough stage, because Gino just has all of the space to just zone. I mean, yeah, Greninja has some stuff too, though, because we might this might be the the time for substitute doll. That is a move that we still haven't been uh, we haven't seen from Duo Design. Which could help them a lot in this matchup, too. Yeah, being able to, to set up the substitute as a way to just cover the ledge better. But it does cost percent to use, so... See what yeah. comes up. Oh, and off the top. Seriously, like, seeing how early the percentage can go, especially with Genos. Oh my god. Off the top, just like that? Mm. Order. I'm trying to find something oh. here. It's back here. <laughs> he doesn't know special. Just to, yeah. like throw the projectile. Both of them just kind of feeling each other out here, not wanting to commit much. But oh, Greninja just taking such a huge lead. Okay. 121. Oh. oh, that's gonna do it. Nope. That didn't even galaxy. <laughs> I love Greninja, the strongest character in the workshop. I mean, it was down strong. That move is more just fast. Mm -hmm. Oh, you want to know what a move is also strong and fast up here? Very true. Yeah, Gino. Yeah, Gino buttons are definitely really scary to deal with. Especially, oh, but the forward air. Smacking them into the next stock. Okay, 93%. Who, whoever takes a second, uh, third game here is gonna have a lot of momentum. Yeah, very much so. This is currently 1 1. Okay. Parries it back. Doesn't get too much off of it. Oh, oh finally, for strong finding his mark. Oh, and knocks him off. Just slapped him. He's like, just, <laughs> like, just back and forth. Sometimes that's all it takes, is just one really efficient attack like that. 
Okay. Yeah. <laughs> we see that was awesome. I didn't. Just, just uh, that we're awesome. gonna see it again. Just super patiently, just going back and forth. Goes, Hop. hits the projectile, hops over it, and then hits the forward there. That is such an amazing call out from Duo. <laughs> okay. Let's see here. And parries it back. Missing the up uh, air. But we did see, unfortunately, oh. hits it successfully, but it's not over yet because very, very quickly. After, oh. Right. Yeah, but very quickly after that, you know, see. just one more. Just that back air and then just hitting them with the force strong. See ya. That's all it takes. Super simple. I love it. Such Absolutely. clean, like, simple play. It, there's no gimmicks. It, it's just... Oh, yeah. oh but speaking oh. of gimmicks... <laughs> oh. <laughs> you see Infernit come out. What a surprising change. Yeah, very I interesting. Also, similar to Jordan, I actually did face um, Black Ace in Genesis 8. And therefore, Infernit was crazy good. Yeah, I've not played against this character too much. I know she's really nuts, especially with stuff like the Katuk, the Katukin, which we're seeing here. Yeah, uh, be glad if you have not played against a good Fernet because uh, they can go really insane. Yeah, I, I mean, I love this character though. See They're the... beautifully animated, and like the sprites are just so good. <laughs> Carol, See the ball like coming out. Oh yeah, the ball. I'm surprised that Black Ace isn't charging it, because then that gives it more durability, and it becomes more annoying. Yeah, but, I mean, against Greninja, you don't really have time to. Mm -hmm. See, we got a, a, we got a two here. charge. But, like, in all of that time, Greninja just was basically right back in. Mm -hmm. Just trying to oh, use yeah, the Dust Magnet to get in. Looking for looking for a good opportunity to should. Oh. Oh my god, that other special. It just pushes him away. Oh Oh my god. Oh, the, <laughs> just ping ponging him. You gotta, and now we got the giant one coming out. You gotta keep an eye out for that ball because once Fernet recalls it, it's gonna go to her position. And that could lead into very deadly follow-ups if you're trying to go back at her. Yeah, Dust Magnet is a very interesting move. Cause it seems like it's just a shine, but then you see how it how it works with the kit and Yeah. Okay. <gasps> that Ooh, oh, special sweeping him into so... the sky. One of the Fernet's greatest moves too is that oh special, as you can see there, it just came out of nowhere how big that was. But man, yeah. it's so deadly. We love a good DP. Is one okay? Jab. Up. Uh, oh, that shine actually interrupted them into the dust ball. Gets a lot of hits off on it. Yeah, it's a long guessing game, especially with that ball out. Yeah, it's it's just really impressive. But Greninja's doing a good job not letting them set it up. Oh my God, covering oh. the options there. Okay. Forward strong back to 1-1, one, one, but Greninja at 97 now. Just one more hit can do it. But we can't count and do a design out, knowing how crazy the Greninja can be. Yeah. Oh, oh. just keeps walling him out, not letting him the DP. <laughs> Alright, this was just a very intense set. Uh, I think that this was a very good choice to switch. Yeah, we've seen those DPs off the top, just mm -hmm. super brutal to deal with. You see the, the coverage from those two platforms, but sadly not yeah. really gonna kill. Yeah, right. the the very fancy setup, but you know, sometimes you just need to be efficient. Again, Ooh. we see walling them out into the DP. Just the amount of coverage that Fernet can do and create is so deadly. It's so crazy. <laughs> All right, we are now reaching the final game here. Do a design wanting a rematch on Rock Wall, which can be very dangerous because you know once you're off stage, it's so difficult DI moves. Yeah, this is this decides it. So he's not getting confident enough in the stage. 
Yeah, just super back and forth here. Oh. Command grab, but whiffs it. Just covering the stage with Katoken. Mm -hmm. That projectile is so good, especially once you land, it just becomes a normal projectile. Yeah, it, there's so much space there. Calling it out with the force strong there. It gets the dust magnet up, but not letting him do anything with it. Gets rid of it. Just poking each other with projectiles there. Yeah, Fernet trying to to get the get stuff back, but Greninja just so fast, really good at preventing that. And like, the, oh, the DP off the top gonna take it. That's what I was talking about when it's so hard to start like DIing off stage just because you can oh. just die either way. Whiffs it, that could have been it, but it doesn't look like it. We're really seeing Greninja struggle to do a whole lot here. Mm -hmm. Just you have to get in and get a good hit against this. Oh my god, call it with the Kazookan. This zoning is just so oppressive. Mm -hmm. Okay, the down tilt doing a lot. Once again. again. Okay. Do yeah, just again. not letting him breathe. So much space is just being covered just from that single projectile alone. Yeah, it's and, that crazy. and another off. one up two stocks now. Oh no. Duo design look out. 42 on him already. And something something that people on. pointed out to me and I love is that in replays, projectiles when they're parried just don't turn around. Not only that in replays, but also in game, surprisingly, because of the new recent update. Oh wow. It's very funny to watch. Honestly, I'd be fine with them keeping that. I love seeing the projectile just like r run backwards, like, whoop, time to go the other way. It looks so goofy and I love it. Uh oh, uh oh, this is gonna be death percentage if they but can find enough special. What's no laughing matter is this neutral. Oh, and the forward strong. I think that was the sweet spot. Oh my gosh, that just killed so fast. Yeah, that was definitely a very smart switch. Mm -hmm. Still able to play the zoning game that Gino was, but just even deadly a... up close. Yeah, just trading a little bit of that zoning for really powerful normals. Mm. And you can like benefit from a character swap as well, just because now your your opponent has to get used to a new character. Yeah, it's like just surprising them. Mm -hmm. Whereas and a lot of things. Yeah, Whereas, I think. Uh... Oh. If you're just staying into one character, then your opponent can adapt to that. But now you're facing Fernet, who's a very fast rushdown, with still a good projectile, could kill you just yeah. instantly, just as fast. I think I think one of the most genius things about this switch too is Gino's one of Gino's biggest weaknesses is that that off special is super vulnerable and punishable. Mm. And then you switch to Fernet, who has a up special that covers like your entire body. Exactly. You're not you're not surviving that.